Hi, so we're going to walk you through the injection molding process uh, using the uh, Plastiki Rafiki uh, injection molder. Um, it's, a, it's actually open source from Precious Plastic. Utapata maagizo ya kutumia hii mashini kutoka website ya Precious Plastic. Sawa, So then you have, uh, we have uh, a couple of uh, pieces here. The first one is, we have our actual mold. What this is, is a clothes peg and you'll see how it looks like. Then we have the branding, which says Plastiki Rafiki, if you look at it, um, but it's the inverse, it's a reflection of that. So what we do is we take the, uh, the, the branding and we try to make it align properly with how we want it to sit in the mold. So one second, how do we do it? So then like this, so you see it's lining up nicely. The next thing we do is we have uh, we have a top uh, plate and that goes on top. This is where the plastic is going to be pressed into. So we line that on top of the mold and then we take a bottom plate and the bottom plate is just is just the holding plate where it fits on and that fits at the back here. And then what we're going to have is we're going to have four screws tightening around to tighten that mold together. <laughs> Okay, so the next step is uh, to put the screws in. Um, so you'll see that uh, in this case there's four screws that go in. And you'll see we're using wing nuts here. And the only reason we're using wing nuts is that it, it allows for you know, an easy release and an easy tightening. This here, looking at the two uh, thermocouples, is that we have uh, we've got two elements down here that control this bottom one, and then we got uh, two up here that control this one. You'll notice the temperature is slightly different. The bottom one is slightly hotter from the top one, and that's because when we're pressing the plastic out, um, we want to make sure that it's in a nice liquid form as it comes out from the bottom. We're now using HDP, so this is the temperature for this specific uh, polymer for this specific plastic. If Faris was uh, using uh, polypropylene, PP, or PLA, or one of the other plastics, the temperature would change, um, depending on what plastic type you're using. Uh, one thing to note is that if you're making s many small molds, um, this is quite a, a quick process, so he's gonna unscrew it, put the next one on, and, and sort of continue that process. If it's a larger mold, and he's gonna be pressing out more of the barrel, he's gonna wait a bit longer for the plastic to melt properly, um, so that it all goes in there. Hakikisha temperature ya chini ni juu kushinda temperature ya juu kwa sababu atutaki plastic hapa juu ikichaumeke hii ya chini ndio itakuwa na temperature juu kidogo hii temperature zimeandikwa hapa ni hii aina ya hii plastic plastiki Okay So what we're doing now is we're uh, we're actually replacing one of the molds there's already a mold down in there that's been uh, that's been in there so what Faris is going to do is is going to um you don't actually have to do that now, but whatever, sure. okay. So the plastic goes in there. And then you'll see what he's doing. He's raising, he's raising the barrel up. There's already been some plastic in there, so it's actually, uh, a lot of it should be melted already. And then what he's doing is now pressing the, the main lever. Well, actually, no, you'll see what, okay, sorry. Yeah. So we're unscrewing the bottom mold. And then what he'll do, he'll do a quick switch with the new mold, which is this clothes peg we just had. And once it's screwed in, he then presses it down. <laughs> okay, now let's go there. So now, so now, uh, do you film the removal of the mold? Oh look, that's nice. Okay, and then um, if we film over here, so what we have Faris is taking out the nuts right now. And you can see that there's the, there's the thing, and if you zoom in, you'll see that the Plastiki Rafiki uh, branding is there too. And there we have a beautiful clothes peg. So the next step is, you'll see what he does. Uh, because what he has to do, he's got a tool. It's, it's kind of like a, a paint, um, 
a paint scraper, uh, but he's made this one himself, and then he, that's what he uses to disconnect the outside uh, nozzle the mold from the actual mold. There's a, there's a bit of a scar left, but not too bad. And the next is to remove the mold from the actual, um, sorry, to remove the, the product from the actual mold. There we have it.